Hi! Welcome to our video on doing a seal change on our C plus 100 pump. Centrifugal pumps, often their most common complaint is leakage. Excessive leakage often has to do with the seal. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do a seal change on our C plus 100 pump here and check it for any damage. So let's get into it. To start, you're going to loosen the shaft guard screw so that the shaft can become accessible. Once loosened, you can easily remove the shaft guard by pulling it out as shown. To remove the shaft collar screw, you will usually require a wrench, but for the video's purpose, it has been loosened beforehand. Next, we're going to want access to the pump's casing. In order to do this, we'll need to loosen the wing nuts at an equal rate. Once done, turn the casing 30 degrees to pull it off. Typically, you will require a rubber mallet to gently hit the casing off, but as mentioned, we had everything loosened beforehand. After this, we are going to center the impeller pin. Make sure the impeller pin slot is horizontal instead of vertical, and then push the impeller pin in. With this, all the components inside will easily come out. The impeller, the back plate, make sure as you put it away to briefly check it for scratches, the seal. When touching the seal, Make sure you always hold it from the sides instead of the area that seems to have a gloss in front. Touching this can damage your seal. The high pressure backup ring. The spring. Then, turn the shaft impeller pin slot vertically to easily drop the impeller pin. Please do not lose this piece as it holds everything together. Next, we're going to turn the casing to listen for any noises that may be presented. This one sounds clear to me. After that, we're going to replace the seal with a new one and drop the O-ring inside. Then align the grooves of the seal and the spring so that they easily fall into each other. Make sure this groove in the spring aligns with this pin of the shaft. Press into place. Next, turn the shaft impeller pin slot horizontal to place the impeller pin inside. Then place the back plate and the impeller on top and turn the shaft vertical until you hear the impeller pin click into place. Now, it's time to put the casing back on, followed by the casing nuts. Again, make sure you tighten the casing nuts at an equal rate so that your casing falls into the correct position. Finally, we are going to place the shaft guard over top of the shaft. And tighten the shaft guard screw over top to secure it in place. And there you have it. That's how to do a seal change on our C plus 100 pump here and check it for any damage. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-668-2268 or at sales at cpsystems.com. We'd be happy to answer any other questions you have there. Also, please feel free to give us a follow on social media 
keep up with the latest news. Thanks again. Until next time.